Hi, welcome to the Welder's Workshop. I'm Carl Host from the Lincoln Electric Company in Cleveland, Ohio. And today we're going to talk about MIG welding of aluminum. You may be able to weld aluminum with your current welding machine provided it has enough output. For instance, a 110 amp MIG welding unit is limited to a little less than an eighth of an inch thick aluminum. If you're going to weld thicker aluminum, you'd have to go to a bigger welding machine. Regardless of the machine we select, there's some rules we must follow when welding aluminum. First, we, we must understand that it's very difficult to feed aluminum wire. It's a soft wire. It doesn't feed like steel wire. So we must use a Teflon liner that doesn't scratch the aluminum wire and cause feeding problems. You also want to use a U-groove drive roll instead of the normal V-groove drive roll we use with steel. The U-groove drive roll supports the wire so it doesn't crush it and lead to feeding problems. You want to also loosen your drive roll tension so that you're not crushing the wire, which would lead to feeding problems. Also using a short gun and keeping that gun as straight as possible will eliminate your feeding problems. Make sure to select the correct aluminum wire for the alloy of aluminum you're welding on and only use inner shielding gases such as argon or argon helium blends to weld on aluminum alloys. If you're going to be doing a lot of aluminum welding, you might consider moving up to a spool gun. In fact, you might be able to add a spool gun to your existing welding system. A spool gun allows you to feed wire through a short liner instead of a, a long liner which will eliminate a lot of your feeding problems and allow you to make welds all day long without the cobbles that you sometimes have with a push system feeding aluminum wire. Welding is safe when you follow the safety rules. The number one injury during welding is eye injury. Some precautions include wear a welding hood with a proper shade lens. Always wear safety glasses with side shields and insist those around you wear eye protection